Welcome. Now, we, we are just in the last four modules, three or four modules, we had looked at the CIS, Center for Internet Security uh, benchmarks and the structure and the content and what it tells you. We had looked at all of that. Now let's look at the DISA version. And I think uh, DISA stands for Department of Information System Assurance. This is for the DOD, which is Department of Defense, which is actually the US military. Um, so these are USA Department of Defense issued, developed and issued security benchmarks. These are called Security Technical Implementation Guides or STIGs. Now CIS refers to them as benchmarks. Here they're refers to as STIGs, Security Technical Implementation Guide. So we have different terminology. And these are the most expansive, the most vast, most well-developed, most detailed, um, you know, in terms of the coverage, they're the most expansive. Security benchmarks available and CIS is also great. Um, uh, along with DISA, but DISA has more benchmarks covering more IT infrastructure. These are most regularly updated. Um, regularly, they have a mailing list and they tell you when a, when a benchmark has been updated. And on every quarterly basis, uh, after every three months, they issue a new set, a complete set, and uh, they actually release that and, and post it on their website. So we're going to be using the unclassified version because they also have classified versions for Department of Defense military, US military um, entities. And they actually have an unclassified version, which is free, and it's published on the website, DISA website, and I'll show you that. So this is the URL, and they have about 425 uh, different sticks available. What we saw was that there were about 107 um, uh, different uh, sticks available, you know, sorry, uh, benchmarks available for uh, the CIS, but this is almost four times as much. So the STIGS master list is um, a, a collected zip folder. It has all the different STIGS, all the 425 STIGS, and they publish this at this URL. And there's a STIG viewer. So they, in order to operate the STIGS, to look at them, to mark them, and they have a checklist, you can go to this URL, and I'll show you the uh, screenshot as well. So this screen shows the STIGS home, and if you go to the URL which I showed you on the previous slide, this is the STIGS home, and the important drop-down menu, it says STIGS in the middle, on the top. On the right of topic map and on the left of tools, it says STIGS. So that's what we usually use. So the STIGS master list is a list of all the particular STIGS, and you may not be able to see them, but here we have Adobe Acrobat, Active Directory, a10 networks uh, STIGs, which are showing on the screen. So you can actually download individual STIGs, or you can collect the entire library. This is the STIGs viewer. You go and click on uh, on the website. You click on STIGs, uh, drop down menu. You go to SRG STIG tools, and this opens up a new screen, a menu on the right, and you go to STIG viewing guidance. And you get this screen then, which is a STIG viewer download uh, screen. And there's a a line here, a row here, which says STIG viewer version 254, which is dated 23rd of June 2017. It's a 780 kilobyte file, and it's a zip file. That's what we're going to download, the STIG viewer version 254 for this particular instance. And this is a screenshot showing the STIG library compilation. You go to STIGs, and then you can see here, it says SRG STIG library compilations in the middle. If you activate the STIG viewer, it opens a Java file, and this is the screen that opens up. It's a Java screen, which will pop up on your workstation. And this is the overall screen. If you can't see it, you should run this yourself on your own workstation. It shows you the STIG, and it has a vulnerability ID section in the middle, and on the right side, it has the information related to the controls. So this is how you import a STIG. Once you've opened up the STIG viewer, which is a great utility which DISA has developed, um, you can import a STIG. And we looked at individual STIGs also, and you can import the entire library as well, okay? So you import the STIG by going to File and Import STIG, and then you would actually, it asks you where you want to pick up the file from, and you go to the, uh, to the uh, drive or the folder in your workstation, and it opens up the STIG for you. So as we can see, there's a completely different mechanism for CIS, which is in the form of PDF files. And DISA has a STIG viewer, 
and then they have they have a viewer which is a java file and then they have stigs which are zip files which which you import into the stig viewer and then you operate the stigs so you it takes a little bit of time to get used to the stig viewer and how it operates how the screen lo look like and we'll take a look at those in the next sections thank you